Hey guys, this is Bess Gimerly and today I'm back with another Dying Light video and in this video I'm gonna be telling you how you can get yourself the Fenris weapon. So the Fenris weapon is actually the part of the new DLC and I'm gonna be telling you how you can get yourself that weapon. So first of all, you need to go to a safe house, it doesn't matter which safe, safe house you're going in, it could be slums, old town or the following, just go and pick up a bounty. Go to the safe house and look for this item over here that says pick up bounty and click on that. Scroll down to define regular bounties and as you can see we have three bounties and uh, now we're going to go to the bloodlust to get ourselves the bloodlust weapon. Now as soon as we selected this bounty you can say it says cut off three heads with one swing. Okay, so finally it took me half an hour to actually get to 29 and I'm going to be telling you how you can do it easily. So what you need to do is best is to come in the following. Come in the countryside, you're gonna find a lot of zombies here and definitely you can actually do your bounty easily in the following. If you try in the uh, in the old town and slums, you're gonna, you're gonna have a shortage of the zombies. So come to the following, use cloak potions, okay? It's really easy to get the cloak potion. You can watch a lot of videos on that. Um, as soon as you get the cloak potion, drink it and they won't be able to see you. You can also kill one zombie by the way if you kill one zombie you can search his body right like this and it's actually camouflage so they won't be able to see you now you can throw a firecracker in a one location and wait for the zombies to come closer and then hit them right in the head you can also go inside it and a lot of zombies won't do anything to you so you're gonna come here and then you're gonna swing your weapon so you can have three heads together like kill, kill like cut three heads together let's try it again um, it's gonna be really difficult and it did take me a lot of tries so yes there you go 30 now let's see what happens uh, the bond is completed and uh, should it is, is it gonna tell us where to go okay so yeah it didn't tell us where to go but uh, I think it should be in our inventory oh there you go There's, that's it that's you will receive that in your inventory so I have added three kings to it and the maximum damage I can see is 3988 well, I think we can put the bolter poison too. Let's see. Okay, so I find this totally weird that I cannot put a blueprint on this weapon. Maybe it just came out. So yeah, we'll see that later when they actually add something in there. But for now, we're gonna equip our UV light. We're gonna go hunt down some of the zombies. So what happens as soon as you swing this weapon, it lights up. Now it's not. It doesn't work with the hazmat, I think. But if you see, you just saw, it just lights up. Now every time you're gonna cut some zombies, the the good part about this weapon is you need to just swing it, you know, uh, and like just kill the kill some normal zombies, like this. There you go. Obviously, turn on the flashlight. Why do I have it off? So after killing some normal zombies, when you go and try to kill the big one, it will do more damage. Now I don't know how this works but yeah that's what it says so you know it it gains a bonus damage i'm gonna be talking about this in a different totally different video but for now this was how to get this weapon um i will explain you guys what this weapon actually does in a totally different video as i said not drinking club potion will not work you're dead boy you're dead thanks for watching guys i hope you find this video helpful and you were able to get yourself that weapon well we'll see you later Bye bye